Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Today, a new product review. They contacted me, asked me if I wanted to check this out, and I said, sure, I'll give it a whirl. I'll be a human guinea pig, why not? It's called Simpler, and what it is, it's a men's hair coloring or men's hair dye. So let's see what's in the box. Instructions, Simpler hair color, start here. This is the hair colorant, and on the bottom it says dark brown, which is about what I have right there. And you have a fancy brush, which is pretty cool because it's got hard bristles here and then softer bristles up on front for detailing areas. The hard bristles are for distributing it thoroughly through the hair. And we have some reusable gloves, a cleansing wipe right here, and petroleum jelly. So you can squeeze out a little bit of this and use it and save some more for next time. I read the instructions. I don't want to go into this blind. I want to be somewhat educated when I do something like this. So I did read through the instructions and I highlighted some things that seemed important to me. So let's get started. The things you will need to bring, everything is here really. Uh, the only thing you'll need to bring is some gray hair for sure, which I have a little bit of right here. You can see it's there. I would rec recommend take off your jewelry. I'm just going to take off my ring, put it off to the side and I'm going to leave my watch on. No big deal. A black t-shirt. The instructions say that it won't stain you if you get it on yourself, but I don't want to take a chance. I'm just going to wear my old black uh, t-shirt. As far as the instructions, I'm going to start at page one and we'll work our way through. Sensitivity test. We recommend you do a sensitivity test before coloring your hair. Perform this test at least 48 hours or two days before use. Uh, what you do is just take a little dab of the colorant, put it on the back of your ear or inside your elbow right here. I'm not going to put it back here because I can't really see back there. So I would put it right here on the crook of my elbow and then let it sit for 48 hours and check it out. As long as you know you're good and you're not going to have a reaction, you can move on to the next step, which is optional. Apply stain guard. So that's what this is. Stain guard petroleum jelly. I recommend this. We're going to open this up. Just crack it open a little bit and squirt some of this out right into your fingertips like so. And what you want to do is just go all around the perimeter of your hair. This way if you do get some on your skin, it won't stain. Be careful not to get this in your hair because if you do, then the colorant won't take. It won't be absorbed into the hair and it won't work. I feel like a boxer when I do this, right? I apply the uh, petroleum jelly so that the gloves glance off instead of hitting solid. I'm going to use two hands for this. It's a little bit easier. Right hand and left hand. Again, be careful not to get it on your hair. Just going to go around the ears because you know you're going to get this on your skin. There's no doubt about it. And the back as well. Here's the back. You can take a look. I know where my hairline is. I can feel it. So I'm just going up to it. Let's get the ear on this side. Just be careful. Get the top of your ear. Try not to go into your hairline. Same thing on this side. Then wash that petroleum jelly off. Dry the fingers. Okay, we have applied the stain guard. That step is complete. Next up, dispense. Oh, you can wear the gloves if you want to. Uh, but I'm not going to wear the gloves. I just want to see if we can do it without wearing gloves. Some other types of hair dye, you have to wear gloves and a squirt bottle and you have to use your hands. I'm going to try and not do that. We're going to follow these instructions. Uh, as I said, it says go topless, color your hair, not your clothes. Well, I'm still going to wear a shirt. Wear gloves. You can wear gloves. I'm not going to wear gloves. Remove the cap and press the button all the way down to dispense one layer of both creams onto half the brush. Okay. Shake it up. It doesn't really say shake it, but I'm shake it anyway. Remove the cap. All right, and here is 
our brush and here is the bottle looks pretty sweet reminds me of a double barrel shotgun there's two little you can see there's two holes so I'm imagining when we press this button uh, two different ingredients are going to squirt out and they're going to blend together when they go on the brush so let's see if that's in fact what happens Yeah, the left side is that dark brown. Can you see that? And the right side is white. So that's what it looks like on the brush, you can see. So I'm gonna start at my most resistant areas, which is the sideburns here. I'm gonna blend that in. You will need a, a watch or a stopwatch or your iPhone with the stopwatch feature on it or whatever type of phone you have because you're gonna time yourself Oh, I really like this brush. You can feel that it's uh, distributing the product. It's got a little bit stuck down there at the bottom. Let me run that through the part where I have longer hair. Yeah, see that distributes it, distributes it a little bit better. So that's what you want to do. It's nice that you don't have to use your hands. Let me get a little bit more for the other side. You can see that come out. Okay. And I'm going to do this part here left side again my most resistant areas just brush it through and just carry on just keep on doing that until you cover your entire head it's pretty cool the way it comes out it also reminds me of an epoxy glue where you have to mix both ingredients together for them to activate. Hopefully this is not an epoxy glue. I'm sure it's not. We'll still have to go find out where these guys live. <laughs> Let's do a little more. Let's just keep combing this through. If you just had grays in a certain area and you just wanted to do that area, then just limit yourself to that area. But I'm going to do my whole head just to ensure that I cover everything. A little bit more up there and a little bit more right here. And in the back, you're kind of guessing as to where it's at, but I can feel where my hairline is. So, I think I'm going right up to it. All right, now that I have it distributed pretty thoroughly through my hair, I'm gonna start my timer. Here is my, here's my phone. So we're going to start it. There you go. And let's see what it says in the instructions. The next step is what I just did. Apply cream from the roots starting with grays first and spread to hair ends by combing. Comb repeatedly until both creams are mixed well and white cream is blended away. Okay, so let's do a little more until that white cream is blended away. Mix it up real good. Make sure it's thoroughly distributed. And this brush here is really nice for just detailing those little areas that are more difficult to get to. You can see that it's already starting to turn color. It's no longer white, it's turning brown, which is completely normal, I'm sure. It does say the mixed cream may look different than the finished color. This is normal. Don't freak out. Okay, we won't freak out. Continue applying dye until all grays are covered. Use the tip of the brush for better detailing, like I said. Uh, wipe and wait. Oh, while you're waiting, you could use this wiper, this cleansing wipe. Uh, I don't see any spots where I got it on my skin, so I'm not even going to use that, but let's see what it looks like anyway. Oh, this is hard to open. Okay, here we go. i going to put some ivory to it. No scent on this. It's a nice thick cloth that it looks like you can 
really wipe, like if I got it anywhere, maybe on the top of my ear, there we go. It's very moist, so it removes the product easily. It's a nice feature to have if you get it on your skin. I do see, I missed a couple spots right here. So let me put that right on that detail brush and see if I can hit that area. Right there. Again, my clock is still running. I'm two minutes and 45 seconds in. So we'll see where that puts us. Just want to make sure that I, these are my resistant areas. So I'm just hitting those again, right around the perimeter. Okay, so then wipe and wait. Leave-in times for each color are on the following pages. There's natural black, black brown, dark brown, that's me. We recommend a 15 minute leave-in time. You can adjust this to go lighter, less time, or darker, more time, as shown. Experienced dyers with resistant grays may need to leave on 20 to 30 minutes. 30 minutes, that's a long time. I don't want to be standing here for 30 minutes. But um, I'll probably leave it on for about 15 minutes and we'll see what it does. You can go ahead and go do something that's going to take you about 15 minutes, whatever that may be, and come on back. Oh, I can read this to you while we're waiting. We're committed to never using harmful ingredients like PPD, ammonia, parabens, lead acetate, or animal testing and cruelty. Offering the highest quality products, providing the best customer service, including hassle-free returns. We believe the world is a better place when we feel confident expressing the look we want. I'm down with that. Sounds good to me. If you look better, you feel better, right? Who is it? Uh, Ricardo Montalban. You older people, will, you youngsters won't even know who that is. Uh, he was on that show with the guy, uh, Her Hervé Villachez. The plane, the plane. I can't remember the name of the show. But uh, what the heck was it? He used to, he used to say uh, he was the spokesman for Chrysler, I think. Fine Corinthian leather. He was talking about the Chrysler interior of the car. That is hilarious. It's been a long time. Ricardo Montalban. He used to say, it is better to look good than to feel good. <laughs> I think he used to say that. Or maybe that's just a bit from Saturday Night Live that they, uh, they kind of spoofed him on, I think. Whatever. All right, let's see. Any more areas to clean up? Right there. Right there. Just a little bit. I mean, while we wait, not much else we can do. Okay, we're at five... Six minutes almost right now. Just waiting to see what happens. That's what the brush looks like. It looks dirty, but that's just the colorant taking effect. Here we go. I got some on my ear right there. Nice. Again, really a nice little feature, this little padded thing. Little padded colorant remover. Okay, we're at eight minutes, so I'll let it go for another... I don't know, 12 minutes. We'll let it go for about 20 minutes total, and we'll see what happens. As the big man says, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. It's been about 20 plus minutes. You know, give or take one or two minutes, it's not going to make that big of a difference. So what you want to do with this sort of thing is try it once or twice, and then you can adjust your time up or down, depending on how dark or how light you want to be. So I'm at about 23 minutes. It says you can leave it in as long as 30, but I'm pretty good right now. You can see that it's dark, right? It seems to have taken effect quite well. Here's the back. I checked it out with my mirror. Didn't miss any spots, so I think it's looking pretty good. Now what you want to do is shampoo your hair until the water runs clear, and then you can condition, and then we'll have a look at the final result. Okay, I'll open my eyes. Let's see what it looks like. My hair didn't fall out, so that's a plus. <laughs> Looks good. Wow. Nice and dark. Seems to have taken full effect all around. Pretty sweet. What do you think? I can give you one tip. If you did happen to get some colorant on your skin and it won't come out, 
You could try some cigar ashes or cigarette ashes, rub that in, that usually will take it out. I like it. Seems to be a worthwhile venture. Less than a half hour, looking 10 years younger. <laughs> okay, you can see that it's a little bit messy in there. We're gonna clean this and I'll show you how to do it real quick. On the side, there are some grooves on both sides. Squeeze that. Yep, comes right off. Oh, cool. You can see the blue and the white protrusions there, little tabs sticking out. That's what shoots out the different ingredients. And like I said, it's a little messy, so we're gonna run this under the hot water. And it doesn't come out that easily, so what we're gonna do is take a Q-tip. There we go. And we're gonna clean out. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. You gotta go in there and dig it out, clean it out. Yep. You can even see inside it pushed the ingredients back inside the cap. So now we should be able to rinse it. What's pretty sweet is this is not just a one-time use. You can get two or three uses out of this, out of this container. I would let this dry overnight just so it uh, dries thoroughly and completely. But I'm just going to snap it back on right now so you can see how. How I had it before. The blue was on the left. I'm going to snap this back on the exact same way. These two tabs. There's some inserts, some holes where the tabs fit into. So we're just going to push down. There you go. Snaps in place. You're ready to rock and roll next time. Okay, so that about sums it up. I think we covered everything. feel like this is a worthwhile product. It is definitely simpler than other products. I like the fact that you don't really have to wear gloves and you don't have to wear a shirt, but I did anyway, just in case. The applicator brush, I'm going to clean this now as well. Just run it under the hot water and clean it for next time. But this is, uh, I think, a very important feature. This on the brush, you don't have to touch the product with your hands. That's really a plus. One other thing I forgot to mention in the beginning, this also comes with it. A really nice drawstring bag where you can put everything inside and store it until your next use. Pretty sweet. Just click underneath the video where it says show more and you could either purchase it there or you can use my discount code and save some money. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies and maybe your hair coloring supplies too. I'm Geo Fatboy. Have a great shave. Have a great day.